My name is Matt Ayton, and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS professional with Go Engineer. This quick tip video shows how to create a table driven pattern. I'll be patterning this cylinder. I've included several visual aids in this model to help show how the pattern results are different from other patterns. These include the XY, YZ, and XZ planes, the color coded sketch showing the alignment of the coordinate system I'll create, and the plane for the pattern instances. Table driven pattern is found on the drop down for feature patterns. It requires some additional inputs over other pattern types, including a table, of course. I'll use a text file with X and Y coordinates on each line, separated by spaces. It also requires a coordinate system. This determines the plane which the instances will be placed on, along with the X and Y axes for the pattern directions. The coordinate system command is on the reference geometry dropdown. By default, the origin is set to the global origin. I'll designate the X axis by clicking this line and then reversing its direction. And then I click OK. For clarity, I'll hide the coordinate system I created that shows the global XYZ directions. Now I launch the table driven pattern. And in the dialog, I use the browse button to locate and designate the text file of pattern coordinates. I select a point on the geometry that the coordinates apply to. I select the coordinate system. And then I select the cylinder as the body that I want to pattern. I click OK to create the pattern with the following results. This has been Matt Ayton with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.